Welcome you all. In this video, we are going to see about implementing the grid display. To do this, we will create a file called template.html. And then we will with VS Code. Let me have a HTML template and edit the title. What kind of grid I want to create means in your first experiment, I had given two examples. Let me take the first example. In this way, I want to create the grid like one header, search box, left sidebar, middle, and right sidebar. So to do this, I want one whole parent container, and inside that I need header, search, left sidebar, middle, and right sidebar. That is five divisions. Let me create in the same way. This, we will have it as a parent container. Inside the parent container, let me have my first division as header. Then I will copy this for five times. The second division name, let me check the second division name. Search left sidebar. Search. And then the third one is left sidebar. And the next one is middle and right sidebar. Let me have a class as LSB middle and the content as middle. Next content as right side bar. Here it will be like RSB. Now I'm having a whole container and then header, search, left sidebar, middle and right sidebar. Okay, let me apply the styles for this inside the style tag. First, let me have container. And universal selector also we will have. Then we will have header. After that, search. Next dot LSB, that is class LSB. Next dot middle. Then dot right sidebar, that is RSB. Now, let me have color for each background color. Let me give some colors, different colors you give it for identification, for identifying the difference. Okay, five light colors I had given.
let me check how the things are appearing in the page. Let me run the template in the browser. You can able to see uh, these are appearing like uh, in a block display. I want it to be a grid display like this. Okay. Grid means table. It is a table layout. Okay. How many rows and columns are there in this? You see, first row is header, second row is search and right sidebar, third row is left sidebar, middle and right sidebar. First column is header, search, left sidebar. Second column is header, search, middle. Third column is header, right sidebar. So three rows and three columns are there in this. Okay. You also note the width of this. I can say the first column is 33%. Second column is 33%. Third column is 34%. Okay, all together 100%. Similarly, the height. The first row height is 10%. Second row height is 10%. Third row height is 80%. Okay. And also you can note some gap between these, okay. I can say this gap as margin, okay. And I'm seeing the gap is equal between every component. That means I can apply this gap in the universal selector. So it will be applied for every component. Universal selector in the sense star. So here I can write first padding 0px. That gap between each element is coming from margin. Some 10 px I can give. Then I can say uh, I want a display called grid. Okay. And uh, the width and height, I have to fix it with number of rows and columns. So for that purpose, grid. I can say grid column and grid row. First, I will say grid column. I want three columns with 33%. Again, 33%. Again, 34%. Then I want grid row, which is first row 10%, second row 10%, and third row 80%. And I want to fix the height of the grid, okay, to the window height, to the window height. So I can say height equal to 100 VH. V means view, view height. Okay, whatever you are viewing in the window, 100% of that, 100 view height. If you say VW, it is 100 view width, view width. Let me say view height 100 VH, the whole container width. And then here, I can say uh, this header. Okay, see this header. I want the header to be occupying all the columns, all the columns, and only the first row. All the columns and only the first row. So, grid column starting from first column okay slash before the fourth column that means you have to give one number higher before the fourth column that is third starting from first column and before the fourth column then similarly here grid row okay it should start from first row and before the second row, that is only one row. Okay. Similarly, I am saying for search, you say for search, how many columns? It is occupying two columns. So starting from one and before three. Okay. And uh, what is the row? Starting from two and before three. Starting from two and before three. So I will say here, first grid column, starting from one and before three. 
then grid row starting from second row and before third similarly lsb grid column first column and before two correct check it lsb is in first column and before second column and row wise starting from third column and before fourth column so here grid row starting from third and before four similarly middle i am writing grid column starting from second column and before third grid row starting from third column and before fourth now rsb i am writing okay rsb is starting one row higher so starting from second row okay second row to third row that means before fourth row two to four i will say grid uh, row as starting from second row ending in fourth then column grid column starting from third column ending before fourth third column ending before fourth let me check the output how it is coming in the browser let me refresh it see you can able to get uh, similar output but here the height is being not proportionate here the height you can see header sets are smaller and left side bar is higher but here you are getting the height pretty much equal what i can say here the height of the header okay the height of the header I will say 10 VH. That means whatever I am viewing in a container, 100 VH in that height of the header is 10 VH. Similarly, the height of the search bar is 10 VH. Then height of LSB is 80 VH. Okay. Then height of the middle okay same 80 vh rsb is 90 vh let me see what is happening you can able to see the difference now pretty much uh, the same way we got but the problem here is uh, the padding the margin we applied 10 px here is being cut shorted in the last row okay let me try to adjust the proportionate height of uh, rsb to 93 vh let me check uh, the output uh, after adjusting you can able to see now it is almost in the same output to our expected one okay so we had a grid display here at the search left sidebar middle and right sidebar i hope so you understood the experiment and how to use the grid display okay thank you